Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Carissa Clark and I have been homeschooling since 2015. I was definitely one of those overeager first time homeschool moms that started a full day of school at three um, and our homeschool journey has definitely changed and looks a lot different today than it did then. We've been using Masterbook since 2018 and it has really helped aid and equip me in becoming the homeschool mom that I am today. I was so fed up with the curriculum that we were using. It wasn't working for my kids and there were so many friction points. And so I was hopping around trying all these different programs and I decided to try Foundations Phonics. Very quickly, I realized that Masterbooks was for us. This is what I had been looking for. I was so impressed with the strong biblical worldview and the focus on on apologetics and discipleship. I remember seeing the phrase ink on paper to impact eternity and just thinking like, yes, this is what I want for my family. And so like dominoes, we switched over all of our subjects one after another. I love changing things up. I'm constantly rearranging furniture or redesigning rooms or changing our routine. I don't know, just I thrive on change it seems like. But one thing I knew I didn't wanna change was Masterbooks. I didn't wanna to go to a different resource. Luckily for me, Masterbooks is incredibly eclectic and there's so much to choose from. There's always something new for me to try, especially when it comes to science. There are so many science options and I really think that's a strength of Masterbooks and I think it is foundational for our kids. I wanna make sure that my kids know that their faith and science are not at odds. And so I think it's really important to give our students biblically sound, science resources and that's where masterbook steps in right so today i want to share a flip through of the science course that we're using this year or actually two courses which would be god's design heaven and earth and heaven and earth for beginners so i have four kids that are schooling and especially now with a baby in the mix we really love doing science together as a family and i find that it's just much easier for me than being pulled in four different directions with four different lessons so Heaven and Earth is a great course to utilize this way, and it's actually written for multi-level learning already if you have elementary and middle school students, and I'll get into that in a little bit. So let's take a look at the beginner's version. The lessons line up with the regular course, which is perfect for our family. I have a kinder and a second grader using the beginner version, and a helpful tip, get them each their own workbook. It just makes it go much smoother in my opinion. So I read the lesson in the beginner book, which gives the older kids a great foundation of what we're about to get into deeper. And then the little kids get started on the activity page or worksheet. There are tracing pages and copy work and coloring pages, lots of fun things to do. And I found it is perfect for my kids skill wise. They're able to do it pretty independently after I get them started, which is great. And there are also lots of hands-on activities, and that's probably my kid's favorite aspect of the course. While the little kids are coloring or tracing, I'll read the lesson out of the text. You can see there are different color boxes, and that corresponds with the more difficult material. So if you have a middle school student, you'll want to incorporate the green boxes as well. We don't currently do that. The textbook is vibrant and full of colorful pictures. Each lesson has keywords to go over and review and discussion questions. As you can see, the teacher guide is where you will find the suggested daily schedule. There's also a schedule in the beginner's book. I love the schedule. It saves me so much planning time. Each worksheet has the supply list for the lesson, which is super helpful. And the worksheets are black and white and fairly short. There are some activities like crosswords or charts. There's also a section of quizzes and a final exam as well as the answer key. Now let's take a look back in the text. You can see that this lesson on sediment rocks in the regular text corresponds with the beginner's version. The topic is the same as well as the hands-on activities. The experiments are sometimes adapted or simplified in the beginner's version, which I find helpful. Usually the supplies are household items or you know common things that we have or something that's easy to substitute with something that we do have. And so I really appreciate that there's not a lot of prep involved for me. My kids didn't want to wait until the fall to get started with this. They've really been looking forward to doing experiments and things like that. And so we jumped right in and we're really excited for the year ahead. Um, you could see some pictures of us doing one of the experiments, one of the, like the first ones. Um, it was a huge hit and we're all looking forward to the rest of this course. So I really hope that you enjoyed this short flip through and I hope that it was helpful and that you got to know the course a little bit better. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this and until next time, happy schooling.